Hey everybody, it's me again, Kale. We're here to play more Tales of Berseria. And last time we left off, we came back to the frozen Northlands outside of Helovis and made ourselves plenty familiar with Guyberk and its frigid, frigid wastelandiness. Also, I've got a boat to send out. What'd Take you find me? This. Woohoo! Perfect. Well done. I'd. Errand or earned? We can make money now. Since when can we make money? Scout ship departing. Works for me. Uh, anyway, back to the adventure. We've got to scale this mountain and get up to the volcano or the town or whatever the hell's over here. Oh, this place looks lovely. Good for grinding, too. Look at all those monsters. Holy cow. I know I'm going to spend my weekend. That's our level. Perfect. Mm. I will use your carabas to cool my drink. Yeah, there we go. Now we can start doing chain combos. One more. Oh, you stole my kill, Rokuro. I mean, that's fine, but be more considerate. It's not a big red dot, and yet it's a giant pig. I'm gonna just let him go for now. I'd rather focus on getting to the next plot point. Maybe stab a few things along the way, but oh my god, what the hell? This is the second time today! Will you monsters just leave me alone? I hate you ethereal bitches that poop dance. Just trying to get things done, walking along peacefully, not causing any problems, and then just out of nowhere. It's obnoxious. Ow. Ow! Whoa! Uh, thank you. Good. I'm glad that I'm almost dead. That's exactly where I like to be. You know, on the cusp of death. It was right. a close one, but I am the victor. Damn right you are, buddy. I'm doing a bit of a dance with death today, apparently. But luckily, this place isn't huge. It does, however, have walking guillotines. This place makes no sense. Throwing that out there. It's a rather wide open area with no monsters. Hmm. Suppose they can't all be predictable. Hey, what's up, buddy? This is ridiculous. Is this Mercio? Problems? Three days on watch with no sleep? I was ten freaking minutes late. It's not like the mine is gonna fall apart. Hey, uh. Sure, whatever. If you got business here, go on in. Yeah. We'll Thanks, buddy. Rassin, frassin, brother. Pay for this. <laughs> Rassin, frassin. Who the hell are you, Yosemite Sam? <sighs> God, even the game's making referential humor. 
Ugh. Can't get away from it. Alright. So what's going on here? Wow. I didn't know so many people lived up here on the northern edge of the world. This town was built around the mining of flamestone, which can only be found here on Mount Kilaraus. So if anything happens to the volcano, this town's screwed. So releasing the two souls well here will surely destroy the town. Yep. I'm human, aren't I? Curse me all you want. I have no right to. The Abbey has proven itself just as heartless. People living here must have the will to endure the cold, to fight back against this pitiless environment. I'd rather have that strength than feel nothing in the face of my troubles and pain. Well said, kiddo. Agreed. A life without feeling is a box of stupid. Yes. A vast well, container of... Put. Uh, of stupid. Right. Less well put. The question is, can we wake up all four elemental Empyreans with the souls Velvet has absorbed? If Inominat's revival... She's absorbed a lot of souls. Related, we should assume we need all four Empyreans to stop him. I think I'll only be able to wake two. There are only two souls left inside of me. Teresa's and Oscar's. Are you sure? Yes. I can tell. I don't know if two Empyreans will be enough to fight him. This is my responsibility. I offer my own soul- well, If we don't have enough, let's knock on Shigure's door. Nah. Your soul would make a fine sacrifice. Old man Melky or two. Good block, he's you guys. He's as a witch's teat, but he's free of malevolence. You're truly ready to take on two leggings at once? I was born ready. It's not like they'll sit back and ignore us anyway. And with Artorius and Inomi not all tied up with their suppression party, this is the perfect chance to take them out. Agreed. <sighs> Acting with caution is... a box of stupid, I take it? <laughs> now you're catching on. All right. We're all insane. Let's just embrace it. So, I'm all stoked for the god waking, but... What's the plan? The road to the volcano is on the other side of town. Let's start by taking a quick look around. Yeah, we'll need to get information, stock up, and then plan our ascent or entrance to the volcano, whichever one it actually takes. Have you heard the rumors about the Lord of Calamity? No. Yep. What rumors? All of them. Deadly demon whose rampage began in Helavis. The Abbey finally got her. I heard that she bites anyone oh, good. who meets her gaze. That she devours humans as a snack, and that she has the head of a wolf. I was terrified of what might happen Sounds if she showed up here. Sounds scary. Now, awful, in fact. Only rest easy, knowing that she's gone. Yeah. Yeah. You wouldn't want to get bitten. It's That's good to hear said. she's behind bars, I'm or so done relieved. with. I don't want a demon to kill me. Definitely. This guy not. sounds pathetic. In fact, if you ever meet one, you should run fast. This guy just he needs a confidence booster. Mercio has been getting colder every year. We used to have a spring and summer, short though they were. Now we're the town of eternal winter. It sounds like a tough place to live. Still, that sucks. flamestone is used for more than just heating. You know, it's People because you're removing the, the flamestone, it, right? That's why no matter how tough it gets, we keep on with our lives here while holding pride in our work. No matter You're destroying how the environment. Place, Ooh, church This place is our home. It's a big one too. The warmth inside our hearts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. shut up. Chill away. This town shut really up. is warm then, in body and soul. Oh, I like the way you talk. Hey, yeah, 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 it's, it's, you it's very flowery and Here's sweet and sentimental. The water is shut up. Only the church chest. So put some snow in to lower the temperature. Snow in the tub. Got it? Ooh. Fancy new satchel. Which reminds me, I haven't upgraded my equipment in a while. I should probably do that. Ooh, nice. Ooh, but it lowers his, atta his, uh, his art attack by a whole bunch. Just an absolute bunch. Oh, I would like him to not die. Not dying is usually first on my book of things to do. Yeah. Yeah, we'll go with not dying. What a peaceful, serene place. You sure it isn't just the snow? 
But doesn't it look pure and beautiful? Well, I think it's pretty too. But that doesn't guarantee the citizens will be. <sighs> Not you too, Aizen. Well, they're kind enough to let a shirker stand out in the cold for three days. He might have been up to no good. Every town has sunny spots and shadows. I'm well aware of that, but this discussion isn't can't, leading anywhere. Can't just let her we'll appreciate the niceness of places. Just think of it like your old job. Investigate and find the truth. Yes, I believe I shall. Because, because deep down, we're the same as the Abbey. I don't know anymore, man. The gatekeeper, he wasn't mean to you, was he? He was pretty angry about being forced to watch the gate, but he let us pass through no problem. I know that being forced to be on watch for three days straight is excessively harsh, but that sounds still, awful. He wandered here from another town one day. He barely ever does any work and has a habit of pilfering things. Oh, he skipped out on his duties in the I get you then. mines. And while we were busy working, he was sneaking into our empty houses to steal things. So that's why you made him stand at the edge of the village. Yeah, we're bringing him food, of course. We told him that if the he hell is he a like Dragon it, Quest he hero? Still, is he actually accomplishing anything out there? He may be bold enough to rob us, but he's a real coward. If a demon showed up, he'd shut the gates and come running. He doesn't have anywhere else to go, so we're hoping that eventually he'll realize the error of his ways. If you keep forcing him to stand out there in the cold, he might find another place to go. The afterlife. <laughs> Jokes about death. Always the best. Oh! They can grow chamomile in this temperature? Nice! Can't be all bad. Should probably use those sometime. A drop bottle. Alright, well, there might be a battle that takes place here, so let's, uh... Let's save before that happens. Let's just save before everything, really. It's a smart thing to do. Alright. Wide open field. Big star in the center of it. Bring it on! Demons! There are demons in town! No, they're not. Ah! Oh, I mean other demons. Gotcha. No. What happened to the gate watch? He's the one who turned into a demon! Oh! <laughs> Mommy! Mommy! Now's your chance! Run! Sorry, but you're going to help me. How is this thing gonna help us? That's because it's a weakling. Thank you so much! How can we ever repay you? I have a message for the Abbey's legates. On the next Scarlet Night, I will offer a sacrifice to Mount Killerous and strip Inominot of his power. I dare them to try and stop me! Well, that's one way to do it. Embrace it. I am corruption made flesh. Velvet, the lord of calamity! <laughs> the city is ours. Flee to the south, puny humans, while your tears dump the snow! <laughs> oh, they're nicer than they let on. Run for it! <laughs> that was splendid. We should do this more often. <laughs> it went well. Except... Of course you'd like that. Ow! What was that for? There will be no sucking of marrow. My sister taught me proper table manners. <laughs> oh, what a waste. The marrow is the tastiest part. <laughs> it kinda is. At least now the citizens of Mercio won't be swept up in our fight. They already are. We just tore their homes and livelihoods away. This wasn't for them. This was to summon the legates here. That's all. No, it Even wasn't so, Velvet. I thank you for what you've done, oh fearsome Lord of Calamity. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. 
O oh, exalted praetor of the Abbey. A whole crowd of people were fleeing south. When the hell did you get here? Benwick, why are you here? I had a delivery for the first mate. Kurogane and Kamoana are here too. You brought Kamoana? She absolutely insisted on following me. Poor kid said she had a dream that you died, Eleanor. Kamoana. That's how long do we Not have until good. Shigure and the others get here? Don't hmm. premonition me like that. Given the distance, my guess is they won't show up until the Scarlet Night. Then I think I'll make use of that time. Kurogane wanted me for something, I take it? I. that's what he said. All right, then. Did, did he make a sword? Up. Good idea. Did he make... We've got a battle to prepare for. Two this swords? The last breather we get. As always, better make sure you leave no regrets. <sighs> Fee, anything could happen. Don't leave town. Can I... can I stay with you, Velvet? I don't mind, but... you sure? Yeah. Do what you like, then. It's gonna be a tender moment. Oh, are we taking it over the pirates? Good. This is now a pirate town. I claim it in the name of the Lord of Calamity. Wouldn't it be Lady of Calamity? Feel as though we need to have a sit down with our marketing department. No. Oh. Hey, that's the way I like it. Cohesions for the week. Um, nothing of importance really is here, so. Let's go this way. I got a letter. Writing another letter to your sister? Nope. This time she sent one to him. But I thought she didn't do that. <laughs> Man, she hardly ever writes back. Hope this ain't a bad omen. Shut it. Aizen, that's great news. That is wonderful. I told her about all of you in my last letter. Seems she was amused. Says you sound appropriate for me, and she'd love to meet you. Weird sister you've got. You don't know the half of it. <laughs> a girl weird enough to want to live alongside the Reaper, no matter the cost. I'd love to meet her, too. I'll warn you. Touch my sister and I'll kill you. Right? Sheesh. <laughs> She's like every guy you meet. Awfully protective. Nah, just obsessed. That's even worse. <laughs> At least he's honest. We'll all go meet her together someday. I like your confidence. Yeah, I man the wheel of my own ship. I, as do I, and all of you. And yes. Even her. Yes. We are the masters of our own destiny. We are the ones who shall make fate bend to our will. What do I do now? <laughs> uh, jokes. Let's go have a nap first, though. Chances are... I'm just going to get... Real hairy, real soon. Let's just go take a quick lie down, if we can. This time doesn't normally pass when you go to an inn, but, you know, this might be the one exception. Yeah, this would be the one exception. Damn. Oh, well. You fully heal at save points. I think. Am I thinking of the wrong game? I'm thinking of the wrong game. Ah, perfect. This is the one I wanted. Gimme. I should probably change my equipment a bit. 
I should. I'm not going to, but I should. Also because that's boring. And I am nothing if not entertaining. I think. Well, I aspire to be okay. You know, if I'm not entertaining, let me know in the comments. I'll change. I'll get better. I'll grow stronger. There's another exit at this point? What are you guys still doing here? Oh, you're pirates. You look like villagers. Sorry. Ooh, kitty! Aww. Hey, Eleanor. What is up, girl? 99... 100! Ready or not, here I come! Uh, playing with Kamoana. Okay, gonna find you. Boom. Having fun? Uh, uh, Kamoana insisted that we play, so. Madam Eleanor! I followed Kamoana for you. She's hiding right over there. <laughs> wow! Wow, cheating against a kid? That's low. <laughs> I didn't! Bad Bianfu, no cheating! Huh? But when I play with Miss Maki Lu, she always makes me do that! She's a terrible influence on you. Eleanor, why aren't you looking for me? I found you, Kamalana. And Dial. What? No fair. Gotta have patience, kid. That's cheating. <laughs> I didn't cheat. I simply utilized Bianfu's cheating. That's called strategy. <laughs> sure. Plans must be solid and reactions flexible. Right? Right. See, Kamoana? I'm smart and strong. You don't have to worry about me. Don't worry. I believe in you, Eleanor. I'm just worried that Bianfu will get you in trouble. I can see that. Why am I the bad guy now? I can handle Bianfu, too. Don't worry. I'll make sure everyone makes it back safe. Okay, it's we'll a fine. promise. Don't worry, kiddo. Kamoana. If you're feeling better now, head back, okay? It's too cold, you'll go into hibernation. No sleeping! Dial's it next, cause he's a crocodile! I'm not a crocodile, I'm a lizard. But Isn't that the same thing? But you're crocodile. Wow, close! You think crocodiles can regrow their tails? Have you regrown your tail yet? There must be a way to make a better world for everyone. Humans, demons, Malakim, and I intend to find it. It might take years. No, decades, centuries, generations. Even if it takes me millennia, I'll do it. Playing the long game, I take it? I believe in you, Eleanor. You'll find a way. Yeah. Once I've made up my mind, nothing can stop me. Yeah. yeah. Trust me, we know. Things aren't perfect in the future, though. Just heads up. So, I hope you're playing the longer game than I have played. And then I hope there's a game that allows me to see that long game. You know what? We'll just leave it at that. Oh, it's the puppers! It's the puppers! I love the puppers. They're so awesome. You're so vicious. Who's your vicious puppers? Uh, treasure, treasure. There it is. Anything good? Money's always good. If you cheat, no one will trust you. Not a human, not a Moloch, and not even a demon. Do you understand, Kamalana? Yes, ma'am. That's not hide and seek. That's just stalking. I'll have no part in it. For anyone but myself. You're an awful person, Bianfu. I just want you to know that.
And Dial's always good for a laugh. <clears throat> Alright, where, where to next? Oh. There's another place? This place is just full of surprises. Alright, so it should be somewhere... Go down around here, maybe? Or up around here? Wherever? Yeah, that looks right. All these flamestone chips. I don't think I ever use them for anything. Or if I do, it's nothing important. Sick. Was he forging you a blade inside? What's that sound? I can't wait. It's good, Ogane. I want the sword, I want the sword, I want the sword, I want the sword. He certainly is. The old fellow's forging himself into a blade. What? How? He's turning himself into a sword? He can do that? Is that possible? Who knows? Either way, it's what he decided to do. We had one can last drink together. Can, can I watch? You'd go that far to defeat Shigure and Stormhowl. I would. I'll turn a friend into a sword to kill my own brother. Wow, that got I'm a jerk. dark when you explained it. <laughs> and then you simplified I'm it. I'm in no position to judge. I'm I a think jerk. you are. Whatever you may look like, you're human. You hate because you love and feel as much hurt as you do anger. That's human. <laughs> Kurogane is with me. He agreed to it. What our blacksmith friend feels towards Stormhowl is more than resentment. It's admiration, too. That's why he wanted to do it. He wanted to put everything he had into one final clash. Because he found the swordsman the worthwhile. He has that very human strength to take the good along with the bad and just keep pushing ahead. A strength that I, as a demon, can never match. Brooding doesn't suit you, Rokuro. You wanted to be a swordsman greater than any other. That's why you fought and bled to perfect your skills. That's the sort of man you are. You still look pretty human to me, buddy. Yep. That's who I am. I like that part of you, Rokuro. Me too. Thanks. You're a pretty awesome dude, Rokuro. Anyway. However much you decide to drink, just make sure you're sober enough for the battle. Aside from that, you do what you want, bro. Topaz. Snazzy. Not that that's very special at this point. I've got bunches of that crap. Alright, what's the next star? Oh, it's Magilu! Lord of Calamity, your schemes are your own business. But I won't stand by if Kamawana's fate is involved. It's a bit late for that. If you mean to stop me, you'll have to strike me down first. You asked for it. Uh, <laughs> I found an inn with a nice big hot spring. Warm yourself up before you catch cold. What a darling you are! I'll take you up on that. Gotta conserve my strength! Thanks, Magula. Good idea. Fee, want to join me? What? <laughs> no need to hold back on my account. The bath at the inn should be huge. That's not the problem! <laughs> See? Hurry up and get in. Uh, why do you do this to me? <laughs> I'll bathe alone, thank you. You go first. 
Fine, fine. <laughs> wow, that's a real turnaround. I like it. Uh. What is it? Just a little errand. Watch these folks for a bit, all right? What's all this about? Melchior. Looks like you got our message. You plan on awakening the four Imperians? Age hasn't dulled your wits, I see. What's going Surely on? You know the consequences. You know the How closely are you, you two related? If you take that route. Oh yeah, so much chaos. You know me not amplified resonance will return to normal, the Malachim will regain free will, many exorcists will lose their power to do whatever they do, and the Abbey will lose its means of control. While the demon threat will remain unchanged. Not only that, but the elemental balance of this world will be thrown into turmoil for hundreds of years. Earth will shift. Skies will go mad, seas will swell, volcanoes will erupt. It'll be quite a show. All of civilization will regress. The, dark the eruption period. of Mount Killerus alone will rob humanity of its source of flamestone and consequently of gunpowder. Mmm, sounds fun. Hey, don't worry about it. I'm sure mankind will think of something. I always go do. humans, right? Just what do you think humans are? The wellspring of all malevolence. Thus must emotion be quelled, and reason bring order to the world, until the day that humanity can repent and overcome their sins. I get that right? You did. Inomi not was awakened for that very purpose. We are the instruments of change. Hated for our sacrifice. We are the shadow of the shepherd who brings salvation. Will you not return to our side? You still seem to think of yourself as a maven. What's a maven? I can think of nothing more boring than your ideal world. It is a world of purity. A garden of fake flowers. Good for show and nothing else. It's a world of order built on righteous ideals. Those ideals are twisted! Whoa! Can a flower hold beauty if it does not wilt? Can a wolf be satisfied eating grass? The thought makes me rich, as do those who wish for it, and those content to live in shackles! Damn, Mogilu, you've never been so passionate! Let the biting bugs go ahead and eat what they want to eat. Let the weeds grow where they want to grow! Some may look down on them and scoff at their foolishness, but their unwavering wills are proof that they're alive. Damn, if that's what you call evil, then I will live and die with evil as my mantra. Then I have no choice but to crush you. You Mark still treat awesome. people as bugs, aren't you? I like her so much we more now. Back, yeah. Wait. Now is not the time. His life belongs to the Lord of Calamity. Melchior Maven, I'll see you at the volcano. Don't you worry. I'll be sure to be there as you breathe your last. Very well. It will save me the trouble of having to crush you one by one. It saves me the trouble of having to hunt down Shigure, too. Not entirely different, old man. You haven't changed at all, Master. <sighs> we just find ourselves on opposite sides of the battlefield. Ah, oh, what a nice bath. Hello. How was the men's side? Uh, not bad. I feel warmer now. 
Mm -hmm. Your face is all red. In there too long? No. Uh, Pretty sure it's uh, something else, Velvet. No, um... I feel fine. <laughs> Silly kid. Oh. You mind? Help me comb my hair. It hasn't Can been I? straight in years. How is that bandage still dry if you had it on? Never mind. Probably shouldn't ask physics. Be careful, okay? I can't contain it. Oh. Mm. You know something, Velvet? Your hair is really beautiful. Oh. You know, that power that I have. If I could master the silver flame, I might be able to turn you back into a human. A human, huh? If we ever had a chance to start over, I'd love to cook for you every day. Aww. My quiches are much better than anything they sell in the stores. Okay, then I'll fetch the water and chop the firewood. <laughs> All by yourself? Of course! I'm gonna get a lot taller soon. And I'm gonna get stronger, too. Yes, you will. I know you will. Great! Then I'll start looking for a way to master... No. Uh. It's too late. I've made too many sacrifices. Too many to ever come back from. I can't. But Velvet... Even worse, I haven't stopped. I'm willing to sacrifice others to keep going forward. Oh. If we kill Inomi not, what will happen to the Therians who are part of him? Will they return to normal? Well... It's likely that they'll all die. Man. I know it. I dug my own grave. But what about Kamoana and Medissa? Uh. Hug her! Only, what about you, Fee? You are connected to him. Uh. I know I might die if I go through with this. But or or punch her. You're good at that too now, kid. Even if it means I have to sacrifice everyone that I know, even you who saved me. The Lord of Calamity isn't a demon lord. She's just a selfish, horrible girl. I have something to confess. I... I don't like being called Fee. I really don't. Hmm? I think that name's too childish. Waffy <laughs> said the same thing to me. <laughs> I'm sure that he did. Velvet, you really don't understand boys at all. Yeah, you're right, I'm sorry. You're no boy, kid. You're a man. It's okay. I forgive you. Damn right. <laughs> Luffy said is awesome. Thank you. Luffy said. Truly, he has become a man. Is Velvet in there? She's having a moment. Y yeah. Can this wait? Now's not the best time. I'm here. All right. Dry up. Break time's over. The Leggets have arrived. Great. Fantastic. I was waiting for them. Oh, jeez. She's hopping right into it? Holy cow. Another Scarlet Knight. Losing your nerve, Velvet? I think not. Don't worry. Leave Shigure to me. Where's Kurogane? Here with me. Kurogane and I will cut Shigure down. Hmm. 
And Aizen. Sorry, but Melchior's mine to eat. Got it? Got it. But at the very least, you're gonna let me watch. Damn right, buddy. Magulo, you do whatever you want. Go nuts out there. I'm always nuts. Ain't that the truth? When you see your chance, take the others back to the Von Eltia and await orders. Aye, aye. Luffy said. Let's go. Eleanor, keep Luffy set safe, please. I will. Worry not. All right. Let's move. We go to kill the Exorcist Legates and engulf this world in the flames of chaos. Yes. Have a good trip. See you soon, Kay. Strangest hero speech ever, but I love it. Let's do it. Yes. In the next episode. So hype. Damn, this has been a long one. Ready. All right, we'll round up all these talk points in the next episode's beginning, and then we'll head up Mount Killerhouse and take on the Legates. We're going to put an end to their tyranny once and for all. So, join me in the next episode when we start our rail, our Flames of Chaos. Ugh. That could have gone better. When we start our Flames of Chaos, let's do it together. <sighs> Till then, have yourselves a wonderful day, and we'll see you in the next adventure. Later, everybody.